Hey guys, and welcome back to another Sony Vegas tutorial. Now today we're gonna talk about how to uh, merge multiple clips in Sony Vegas. Now it's actually not called merging in Sony Vegas, it's called grouping. But um, this is a feature that comes very handy. Like for example, as you can see here, I have most, well, this is actually, I'm this is Bandicam footage, but that's, I just chopped it up. So it looks like Fraps footage, right? This is normally where people ask, how do, how do I merge uh, you know, clips? Let's say you wanted this clip merged with this one. You can see they, they get highlighted in blue, right? By the way, this, uh, this footage is uh, from uh, Aliens vs. Predator, uh, a Let's Play I'm doing. But, uh, but yeah, so let's say that you want these two clips merged, right? So uh, you click on one, and then you can con uh, control click on, hold down control, then click on the other one. See, now both of them are blue. So if you push G on your keyboard, now those two are grouped up. But you see now the audio tracks are not blue anymore. So now it's only these two. So if I move them like this, you know, see, I, I can move them. If I just click on one of them and move it, I move both of them, okay? I'm just gonna get that back to normal again and then like that. So now they're not grouped anymore. Nope. Not grouped. You can also, I mean, you can do it like this. Um, control click that, uh, now click on this one and then hold down control, click on the audio tracks and then do it with these like that and then push G. Now all these six things sort of say are grouped up. So if I click on one, all of them are blue, right? I'm just gonna undo this again. And I think like that, right? Yep. Now they're not grouped anymore. Now another way, if you have something grouped up and you want to ungroup it again, uh, very simple. You um, let's say I have these two grouped up again. So click on that one, Control click on this one, and then group them up. So now these two are grouped, right? But all of a sudden, I don't want them grouped anymore. You just click on one of them and then push U on your keyboard for ungrouping. So now they're ungrouped again, but they're also ungrouped from all the other stuff. So what you can do then is you can just click uh, click on this once and then hold down control again, click on these two, push G. Click on that one, hold down control, push in that one, and still hold control down and push in that one, and then push G again. So now they're grouped up as they were before, right? Now uh, you can also take these three things right here and group them up with these three here and push G. That means these are grouped up now. So if I just click outside and then click on it again, see now these are like, they have this blue lining around the whole thing. So if I move them, now those two are grouped up like that. I can't for the love of me find a reason why this would be useful right now, but there might be a reason for it. I don't know, uh, <laughs> but oh shit, I wasn't supposed to do that. I'm just gonna, Get that back to normal again, like that, and like that. Are these grouped again? These are not grouped. Okay. Actually, you know what? I'm gonna control C and get all this back so it was, it doesn't really matter. Um, I just need the end here because I'm gonna show you an example of where this is very, very handy to, to use, right? So for example, I have an outro here that I use on some of my videos on my gaming channel with some of my own music on it. I can see there's something wrong here. You can normally tell that there's something wrong when they have, see in here between it has this dark line. You can see it over here as well. So when you split something up, normally when you split something up, let me do that here. So I push S on my keyboard to split that up, right? You can see it has this dark line. And that's because if you zoom in by scrolling up on your mouse wheel, Come on, mouse. It actually does a cutoff like this. So you can actually just move them in again. It's a little, little trick for you there. But uh, but yeah, so uh, I can see that there's something wrong here. It's probably gonna mess it up when I move it anyway. So uh, I have all these, they're all grouped up. See, they're all blue. When I click on one of them, they're all blue. Um, but if you go here to the end, you can see that the audio actually starts before, and th there's a one second transition here, so that, that's up until here. There's a transition in the white here. It's just hidden, but it's there. 
Um, it's a crossfade, but whatever. So you can see that the, this is gonna happen before the, uh, it's gonna happen in over this audio track right here. So what I can do is I know for a fact, I believe it's, uh, so that should be turning into 53, eight, right? Yes. So it's a uh, one second and 10 frames that I, that I need to, to work with here. So what I can do is I can push in this one, this audio layer here, but because that's where this audio layer is go, uh, gonna go in over, right? So I'm gonna ungroup it by pushing U. And then I'm gonna move it. I'm gonna zoom in a little bit so I'm sure that I can, you know, get one second and 10 frames. So like that's one and then I'm gonna do like 11 frames just to make sure that I have enough to work with. And then I'm gonna click here and then I'm gonna go back and then drag this in. See, you can see it says cross here. It's because it has the cross fade in it. Then I can just go back here and move this one back like that, right? Why I want to do that right? Let me just uh, do it like that. Get this one out of the way and then move it back like that. So now I can just click on these again and then you know click on the first one, control click down here and control click here and then group them up again afterwards. So now they're all grouped up like they were before, but before uh, because I ungrouped this one, I could move it in like that. I could also have, have cut it if I wanted to. So if I ungroup this one, I can cut it and delete a part of it like that if I wanted to, right? But um, let's just have them grouped up again. And see, now I have the cutoff where it would then start the music and then do this transition thing into the actual outro, okay? So let's see how that looks. I'm actually gonna mute this one right there. And I'm sorry if the music is a little loud. It's some of my own music, by the way, that I use for my outro, but yeah. Um, so let's just make sure it works right. See, works wonders. So this is a, this is a you know, Ungrouping stuff very handy. Grouping stuff very handy. Um, so you know you can you can group up your clips like this, even like that if you want to, and then group them up. Now these three are grouped up. All of this is grouped up. I can just move it as I, as I see fit. So that's how you you merge you know <laughs> merge clips. But it's called grouping and ungrouping. So G to group and U to ungroup. I hope you guys found this uh, video helpful. If you did, please, you know, give give the video a like down below and uh, leave me a comment and um, share the video with your friends, guys. That helps me out a lot. It helps me uh, grow my channel. And um, yeah, take care, have fun, and see you all in the next one.